BMW's i series has been quite a revolution. We first had the i3 all electric car and now this, the flagship, the i8. This is the first hybrid sports car and it's smart, sensible and yet sexy and sensational. The key question is, does it drive like every BMW should? We're here in sunny California to find out. Before we get to the cutting edge technology and driving experience, let's first talk about the i8's looks. The word spectacular doesn't really do it justice. The i8 just looks stunning. It's ridiculously low, wide, ground hugging. The styling's got enough wow factor and futuristic cues to rival the best from Santa Gata for visual impact. And the scissor doors add a final and extravagant flourish. The monocoque is made from carbon fiber which saves a massive 200 kilos over conventional materials. And this gives the i8 an all-up curb weight of just over 1.5 tons. Not bad for something that's weighed down by heavy batteries. Getting into the cabin is not very easy. You have to fold yourself between a low roof line and a high, wide, expensive looking sill. But once you have, the interiors just adds to the sense of occasion with its sculpted driver-focused dashboard, colorful LCD instruments, and the low-slung, deep-dish sport seats. There's also an abundance of little features and touches that lift the ambience way above BMW's usual and conservative standards. The i8 is a plug-in hybrid sports car, which means it combines a conventional petrol engine with an electric motor. Now the fuel burner is a 1.5 three-cylinder Mini Cooper engine that feeds 228 bhp and lots of torque to the rear wheels of the car via a six-speed ZF automatic gearbox. Nestled between the front wheels, meanwhile, is a 128 bhp electric motor from the i3 that drives the front wheels through a two-speed automatic transmission. Now I'm driving in sport mode, which means both engines are working, the electric powertrain up front and the 1.5-liter three-cylinder engine at the back. And really, it is such an intriguing driving experience because what you've got really is both engines working quite in sync with each other there's just one seamless power delivery it's very very responsive there's absolutely no lag whatsoever it's not earth shatteringly quick 0 to 100 in about 4.4 seconds so really not in supercar territory but it's enough on this twisty road and this car really feels very quick Switch over to comfort mode and the i8 will cruise around cities effortlessly with its adaptive dampers and eerily silent electric drive, making it smooth, clean and effortless to drive around town. The real-world full electric range is about 24 kilometers and is best used for short stints in traffic or to make ultra-quiet getaways from hotel foyers. It is in sports mode that the BMW's ultimate driving machine DNA really comes through. Now the one thing that stands out about the i8 is its amazingly low center of gravity. It just absolutely feels glued to the road. Really, all the weight is concentrated so low down because of that battery pack that this thing feels like a leech. But what these twisty roads also highlight is that the front tires, frankly, they just don't have enough grip. I mean, around this twisty bit, it's easy to get a chirp out of them. Ooh. And the fact is that there is quite a lot of understeer. But what we hear is that BMW are going to be giving a stickier set of front tires. The i8 feels like a really well-balanced mid-engine car. It darts into corners with authority and steers with knife-edge precision. But there's no sudden thrust when you floor the throttle. It doesn't rocket forward towards the horizon, but instead yanks you forward with a seamless and strong tug. The truth is that the driving experience is a bit sanitized, and hence it doesn't feel as quick as it really is. 
Well, after a day of driving the i8, I can tell you it's a really special car. It's a fantastic mix of stunning styling, exotic materials, and the latest in hybrid technology. But is it as engaging to drive as other sports cars? Perhaps not. But this car is for those who want to make a statement, for those who want to say that they can have fun and at the same time save planet Earth.